That would be nice. Alright. See, murder would make a Zelda game, any any Zelda game interesting. I mean, look at this. I'm right behind Zelda, she's too focused. If I had a sword, this would be the perfect opportunity. Oh god, I'm thinking like a murderer right now. Hell no, I'm getting out of here. Before I actually act upon my killer instincts. And not the video game, because honestly, I, I've tried playing Killer Instinct, like on an, on like an SNES ROM or a ZSNES. Ah, oh, God, do I suck at it! Like I remember playing that back in high school, and I just, oh man, I couldn't put off any combos whatsoever, and like my friends always kicked my ass. I remember one of my friends doing like a 20 hit combo. I'm like, how the hell can you pull that off? And Looks like your participation in the ceremony hinges on whether or not you can find that bird on time. Okay. Uh, I'm so tempted to call you instru Instructor Chugga Conroy. Instant Headmaster has summoned me. Alright, then I'll go speak with him immediately. Still you helping me out earlier. Alright, damn right you owe me one. I'll, you I'll hover that over your head whether you want it or not. Stand here waiting for a little chivalry. Chivalry is dead, my lady. It's you, Lynx. Hey, you look all flustered. Something happened. Yes, I can't find my lock wing. You don't have to repeat that to me. Hmm? It was one of my... Hey, the bird expert that we already talked to. All right. Let's go. Hopefully he'll tell us something. Of course, he'll know where my bird is. He's an expert. <laughs> Freaking boondocks. <laughs> I should know. I'm an expert. I think that's from the boondocks. Or that's what I saw from first. It's all like in my expert in my uh, expert knowledge, I believe they call this an ass whooping. Ah, <laughs> oh, that white expert guy. Hey eh, guys, oh wait, oh this is where Pippet's at. What up, buddy? Still not wanting around the academy, are you? Uh huh. Yeah. Like I haven't heard this before. And you just assume I'm wrong. I'm doing something wrong. It's like I beat my bird or something. And go to the plaza. All right, I will. All right, we got a lead. Well, we got a lead on where to start anyway. Let's go talk to this guy. <laughs> oh, good. If you're wondering how I did that, eh, we'll learn it right now. Huh? What's wrong, Link? Don't know where your bird is. What are you talking about? I'm saying I don't know where my freaking bird is. It's plenty obvious what I mean. So I was uh, talking to myself, you know, like I do. Uh, whatever floats your boat, buddy. Here, have a barrel. <laughs> Alright, I'm out of here. Link! What? Hey, um, I should probably tell you. Ah, forget, ah, forget it, never mind. Well, fuck you, guy. I gotta go look for my bird, man. Either spit something out or... I'll make you spit something out. I'll just go, like... Just go slapping you, like... Or something. You guys heard that? I was, like... Imitating as if I were slapping him. I don't know why I did that, but still, in yeah, look at this. Scraping, scraping. I don't know. <laughs> and if you actually see that kid, if you just keep watching him, yeah, eventually he'll like pretty much point out. He's like, "What the hell, man?" But if you don't, yeah. hold up, Link. Hey, use A to dash and roll into the tree. Well, you just gotta be dashing and shake the nunchuck instead of the Wii remote. And you'll be on, and you'll be able to do a roll. As such, and that kid gets all excited over a sky stag beetle. What a loser! Everyone knows Gerudo butterflies are where it's at. God damn it! Look at this. We're already up to 35 rupees. And I, for some reason, I picked up that stamina fruit. You guys see right here? This is awesome. They have like freaking flowers that actually spawn up hearts, like recovery hearts. I don't know how that's possible, but yeah, I'll go for it. Link Sword was about to get. And of course it is. Could be one of the last one. Looking forward to see what he can do. But first, I gotta find it, and apparently you don't know where it's at. And I feel like giving a voice to whatever's what's coming up over here. But oh man, oh man. Honestly, I see these guys kind of like from Back to the Future, mainly because I've seen this one video of like <laughs> Goose's theme goes with everything. So, yep, they know what's going down with my bird. It's not getting out of that pen anytime soon. Alright, buddy. Cracking my knuckles. Bring it. Bring it! 
I think so, uh, yeah, and just how long you been standing there? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, oh wait, I got it. You're here to talk about today's race. I can see it in those dopey eyes of yours. Well, fuck you too. They're pleading, oh, Groose, can you please find it in your heart to let me win today, please? Desperate to win so you can get some alone time with Zelda up on the statue of the goddess at the end of the ceremony. Why, yes. Yes, I am. <laughs> well, sorry, pal. Groose doesn't do charity for wimps. My advice, work hard and wish with all your heart. You might even come in second. Yeah, yeah, screw you too, buddy. Say, come to think of it, how come I don't see your bird? Where is that scruffy pile of red feathers? I don't know why I'm giving him this stupid-ass voice. If you guys could even notice what kind of voice I'm giving him. <laughs> Think his tiny brain got confused by all the clouds and got lost? Bring it on, man! <laughs> it's like, sure, the only thing is I don't know how you're gonna do that with no bird. You wanna grow wings? But they all said we we're gonna have a flying fight. Your fist, my fist, bring it! Well, getting tired of how you never let anyone forget you zoom you and Zelda go way back. In red text. <laughs> You've been friends since you were kids? Big deal, it doesn't change the fact you float through life with your head in the clouds. Dude, we live in the clouds. That's kind of an impossibility to not have my head in the clouds. Did you wake up, straighten up, and grow a backbone already? No. Dope like you and Dragon Lair Honor kind of be through the mud! <laughs> this guy just reminds me of, like, Back to the Future. I... That one video has just, like, ruined it for me. It's like the... Like the main antagonist of the Back to the Future series, I keep... I think it's Griff or something like that. And yeah, they're picking on me. And why am I getting stood... Uh, I don't know. I'm being defended by her. Should I be turned on or should I, should I be uh, disappointed in myself? Suppose what? Uh, this is painfully obvious. And I don't see how she does not see it. That. <laughs> I just noticed right now, Link had like a pissed off face at him on his. He had a pissed off expression on his face, like right when he. Right when Gru said, I suppose nothing. He was just like, oh, fuck you too, man. Taste of flavor? Failure? Taste of flavor, it's your special failure. Alright, so at least we know what happened to our bird. For the most part, kind of. You're beginning to suspect? They pretty much flat out said they did have something to do with it. I don't get how you don't get this, Zelda. Flying around Skylab to see if you can find any spot any trace of your bird. Well, that's nice. Father said he talked to Instructor Horwell about delaying the start of the wing ceremony, so don't worry. We'll find your bird in time. Well, that's nice. Damn it, she's wearing pants. I just realized that. How did I not notice that the first time? Because right when she dove off, I'm like, can I see it? Ah, crap, no, I can't. I really gotta get my mind out of the gutter. Man, what does this sign say, anyway? I can meet residential quarter. Well, maybe the people in the residential quarter know something. Probably. What about you? Well, hello there. Oh, that unusual crimson mocking. Have I seen him? Sorry, I haven't. Damn it! And statue with the goddess, you check the map using the plus button. And she's implying I get lost all the time. Screw her too, seriously. Anyway, she mentioned the map. And it actually does highlight some areas that you've been to, or at least some of the more important areas, like Statue of the Goddess, Sparring Hall, which is apparently near the Night Academy. Alright. The bazaar, the plaza, the light tower, and for some reason the graveyard. Huh. And hello ladies. We're too busy to enjoy it. Some things never change. There. Isn't that the truth? The only thing my luck none of a son is good for is getting grease on his shirt. All I do is laundry, laundry, laundry. Ah, oh, damn. God, something's on the tip of my tongue. I want to try parodying it. Or, like, quoting it. Uh. Uh. Oh, freaking Water Boy. Ah, <laughs> oh, the Water Boy. Oh, I freaking love that movie. This has me down to cook you. By the way, that's me. <laughs> oh, your special friend, huh? Is he an adult? I am kind of curious now. Okay, I'm kind of worried for that little kid now. Yeah, little pumpkins. Ah! Those pumpkins were having fun. I had to ruin it. 
Anyway, like the water ball, or the water, <laughs> the water ball, the water boy. It was like right when she said, laundry, laundry, laundry. It's like that one time where like the coach, he was just talking on the phone and like turns out it was disconnected while, it, and he was in high heels for some fucking reason. And you mentioned that this thing only has one eye. Oh, look at that. Remember this. And damn it, why aren't you bald? Anyway, like that scene from the water, well, I just remember, like, he was in high heels. He's like, I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. <laughs> oh, I freaking love that scene. It's like, why is he in high heels and why is the phone disconnected? Holy crap. Hey, we got an idea where our bird is at. And apparently our roll isn't going to be enough for that. Waterfall cave. Blood sucking monsters? Hell yeah. Let me just get my sword. Actually, we should probably look on if anyone else has some information. Using up the stamina meter, of course. Look at that, so close to getting it completely drained. But not, but, uh, look at that. If you don't dash to a ledge, you can actually uh, end up... Like, if it's low enough, you'll actually jump towards the top. And I'm pushing this right here for a shortcut later on. But personally, I like to, like, dash toward a ledge because you, if it's low enough, you'll just jump right on it, which is pretty cool to me. And, and I think, hey, that guy's done fixing this door. All right. Shortcuts everywhere in this bitch. Anyway, let's go talk to Pippet again. Maybe he found something out. Maybe. Just maybe. Possibly. Poss maybe. And can I, could I have just stuttered enough? Could I have stuttered more times than that? Hell, even I'm, I'm still stuttering right now. <laughs> anyway, let's actually look, look for Pippet. He should be around. Okay, never mind. You know where he's at? You want to know where Groose hangs out? Is he up to no good again? Pippet probably does. Ah. He was looking for you just now. In front of the sparring. All right, cool. All right, do the sparring hall. And I wish I could do that Batman transition, but it's too early in the game to be transitioning anywhere. <laughs> anywhere at all, yeah, it's a little too early for that. Not yet, buddies, not yet. Then again, that Batman transition, oh man, that was like the stupidest and funniest idea I think I've ever had in a while. Hello, buddy. Hey, you got ellipses over your head. Perfect timing. Alright. Often he's gone missing, so he joined in the search. Alright. Yeah, he was acting weird a little earlier, so yeah. Bruce Mountain. Yep. Saw this one coming a mile away. Keep quiet about it, of course. Go on telling the truth. Damn right. Huh. Tell it now! When I was cleaning the dining hall, Cruz and his buddies came in and... They planned to hide something in red text. I wanted to warn you, Link, as I tried to sneak away, Cruz and his gang grabbed me. I told you they'd make sure I'd never be able to ride a bird ever again. Well, what would they do? Like, crush your pelvis like in Futurama? Look, <laughs> I don't, I don't know. How else can you not ride a bird? You could just lay on it with your stomach, unless they crush your entire fucking body. And the waterfall marked with the red X. Yep, we were just there, and did we did have some like special, crazy mindfuck moment with our bird. And he just mentions that you could actually check the map with plus, even though we already know how to do that. And stop indicating that's a plus. And one more thing, Link. If you're going out to the waterfall, remember there are some dangerous things there. Creepy, crawly things. You need to get your sword. Night Commander going to the sparring hall. Alright. I guess we are outside the sparring hall. Maybe make some good use of that. Shit, yeah, I was going to go back there. I needed a sword anyway. Hello, sparring hall. Hey, can I do something with that? Hey! Log this for practicing defense. You don't have a shield yet, so don't mess with it or I'll send you flying. Aw, oh, man, I like to fly. Hey. Practicing your vertical slash. Oh yeah. Huh, how come I never noticed? I never, I never tried that before. I never actually checked those logs and he actually mentioned some stuff. Damn right, I don't want some, I don't want some sword practice. I'm taking the sword for myself. Alright. It's cool. If you actually check the logs, you, you actually figure out uh, what exactly you have to do or how you have to slash the sword. Pretty cool. It's mine! Alright, so we get the practice sword. And, of course, it mentions if you press 1, you can actually check your gear, which we can do right here. And here we have our sword, and it's a bit off-center. There we go. Just a little off-center. I'm a little anal about that. And the basic sword used by Knights in Training. The blade still has a sharp edge. All right. Enough to kill stuff with. And our small wallet carries up to 300 rupees. 
And apparently, huh, a harp-shaped thing. I wonder what that'll be. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, if you actually flick the Wii Remote left to right, you can actually change the page. I kind of like that, though you don't have to actually necessarily do that. You just had... You could also use the... You could also use the control stick and the A button to actually change the page as such, if you don't feel lazy enough to do it with the Wii Remote. But anyway, yeah, yeah. I don't know why I just spent like the last minute talking about the menu, or like the gear menu. Well, I also forgot to mention... The collectibles! There is quite a lot of them. Well, they're mainly used for upgrading stuff, but we'll get to that when the time comes. No, thank you, I already know. I don't know why I bother talking to you. Good with sword, practice is everything. Alright. Using Z to target enemies, of course. Like, using Z targeting is a lot, makes it a lot easier to actually hit stuff. A lot easier. Much, much easier. You're gonna be using Z targeting a lot. Anyway, for this, you just gotta hit them at their sweet spots. Of course, the parts where it's like the more vulnerable. So yeah, this is a good way to test out whether or not you like your Wii Remote is actually responding to your swings properly. Oh, kind of pushed the mic there a bit. Hopefully you guys can hear me still properly. And for this one, you can check it at the log you pressing your thrust. Move the Wii Remote forward to thrust the sword. So pretty much jab forward and you should be stabbing and stuff. Hang on, check. There we go, the mic's proper again. Strong swordsman, easy to teach too. Damn right. The spin attack. Very nice, buddy. Damn right, I want to learn this. So swing the Wii Remote and nunchuck horizontally at the same time. Not necessarily in the same direction horizontally, they just have to both be horizontal. So sometimes if you have a shield, you accidentally hold up the shield. And yeah, that'll probably screw you over. That'll probably screw you up a bit, but still, it's not that much. Now with this, we just have to swing the Wii, nun the Wii Remote and the Nunchuck at the same time while he's targeting something on the ground. As such! Bam! Alright. Fatal Blow is also an effective mute to use right after you use your shield or a well-placed spin attack to knock an enemy back. Alright. So you have to swing the Wii Remote and Nunchuck quickly before they get back on their feet. Alright. Later! Damn it! Can't take the swords out of the Spartan, huh? What do you think you're doing sneaking out with that? Dude, I wasn't necessarily sneaking as I was blatantly stealing. Lockwing is missing. You wanna go look for it? Well, I guess I can make an exception just this once. And by just this once, I mean the only time I actually have to do this. So here's the deal, make sure you get plenty of practice on these locks first, and once you get outside with the sword, only use it when you absolutely have to. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I'm gonna kill Fledge with this. I'll be right back.